Hello everybody, my name is Dripper and welcome back to Relaxing Craft Season 2. This is episode 5, and you may be wondering, Dripper, where am I? Uh, I'm currently in the nether. We're on the nether roof. Check it's so barren. But yep, yeah, we have made it to the nether roof, and I'm about to show you something amazing. It all revolves around this piston. Right here before us is a beautiful bedrock breaking machine. Yes, this amazing thing that somehow works is going to break bedrock for us. I saw this from Impulse SV, thank you very much. And uh, I'm gonna use this and see if this works. So what we do, put this down, place TNT right here, hold, try and place this piston right in this corner. And did it work? No, no it didn't, it didn't work. Oh, I think it worked. It's facing up. Please, please, please. Yay, we got it. Perfect. All right. We got the bedrock broken. Nice. So this works with crying obsidian as well as obsidian. I just used crying obsidian because I didn't feel like mining any obsidian. But anyway, we got, we got access to the roof now. And surprisingly, it is actually right next to my portal. It is quite close, to be honest. And I wasn't expecting to find this, but... This is 127, and that worked. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, during episodes, like I said, in between episodes, I was going to build the um, I was going to build the Enderman subscription service as well as the Bedrock Breaking service, and I have done that as well. Last episode, we created a beautiful shop that houses all of these new services, and let me show you what I've done. Okay, first of all, I found this trail of torches. What is this place? Oh my god, it's like a village in the mountains with... What is what is this? Wait, is this what I think this is? Stegosaurus? Is this, Stegos is this Stegosaurus Mountain? No, it, I think it is. This is the... This is where Fo and them live. Is it not? Oh my goodness, I think this is it. What is this place? It's like a roller coaster. This place is cool. Why did they not want me finding this place? This is an amazing area. Or where does this even lead to? Oh, oh, we're in the village. Okay, I need it. I'm gonna do some exploring. This place looks cool. <laughs> That's crazy. Mailboxes. <gasps> There's mail. Yep, this is their place. This is Emmer Dog's mailbox. So this must be Emmerdog's house. Whoa, this place is cool. I got very sidetracked with that. Let, let's actually show you the shop this time. And of course, here is the absolutely beautiful shop that we created last episode. And it is still amazing. <laughs> it, I am so loving. Oh no, they stopped waving. What kind of greeting is this if you're not gonna wave at me, huh? Dang, pillagers. This was the shop that we created last episode. And this absolutely insanely detailed shop is what I was talking about. In between episodes, I did this. And we, we got the bedrock breaking service and the Enderman Farm subscription service. And let's take a look at this. Welcome to Drooper's bedrock breaking service. We provide you service to break any bedrock you so please. Take a piece of paper out of the left chest and rename it to the cords XYZ of the bedrock you want to be broken. Then deposit the piece of paper into the right chest with one diamond block. It's super simple. One diamond block for one bedrock broken. Take one of these, rename it to bedrock cords, and put it in here with the payment. Enjoy your time at Drooper's Bedrock Breaking Service. Property of Drooper Enterprises 2020. <laughs> yep, so this is, this is the, uh, the book for the Bedrock Breaking Service. Obviously, Ender Chest, Anvil. <laughs> the TNT piston, all the stuff, especially Creeper Man. And of course, we have the Enderman Farm subscription. Welcome to the Enderman subscription service. This is a simple service to all of your XP needs. This farm includes infinite XP, Ender Pearls, Enderman Heads, Enchantment Table, and Anvils slash Grindstones. There are two subscription options, weekly subscription and monthly subscription. Weekly and monthly. Buy one of these subscriptions and take the key to use on the gate of the Enderman farm. Weekly slash monthly subs regenerate every week slash month. So come back here when the key doesn't work anymore to renew your subscription. Enjoy your time at the Enderman subscription service. Yeah, that works as well. 
And currently I don't have any keys. I, I still need to make the, the gate for that, but I'll, I'll do that in between. I'll do that off camera a bit. Just, you, you don't need to see that. But because we've got something really big today to do, and that is making an amazing, awesome skeleton grinder. <laughs> and I guess we could also make spider grinders too. We are going to make the spider jockey destruction chamber <laughs> 9,000. This is going to be an, an insane farm because I found a little bit, a little bit ago, I found one skeleton spawner and two spider spawners, two cave spider spawners right near my base. And we're, we're totally gonna take advantage of that. And of course it's in my mine shaft that I found like in episode zero or something. I don't know which episode it was, zero or one. I found a mine shaft and that mine shaft houses two cave spider spawners and right below that mine shaft houses a skeleton spawner, which we're totally gonna use to our advantage. Also, by the way, th this this ladder that I went up to the bedrock ceiling is absolutely useless. <laughs> like there is no purpose in putting this here. I'm not gonna make any farms here. It's just absolutely useless. So who, why did I do this? It was kind of like a waste of 12 TNT to be honest. But never mind that because right down here we have our mine shaft that we found. And this right here houses the three spawners that we're gonna use today. And yeah, three spawners. One right here, um, Mr. Skeleton right here, another skeleton. One spawner, two spawner, and the third spawner down here. Here is the Skelly spawner, hello. Yeah, right here is the skeleton spawner that we found. And I'm really glad that we got this. But first, I think it would probably be best for us just to light up the entirety of this mine shaft because creepers. So let's go light up this entire mine shaft, shall we? Alrighty then, we've pretty much just got the entirety of this area wiped clean with torches. <laughs> there are torches literally everywhere. And um, I guess that's pretty good since we can't have mobs spawning. And every square inch of this place is pretty much covered in torches. This way, that way, that way, this way, and everywhere, even up here and here. Yeah, <laughs> every little bit of this mine shaft is practically completely covered in torches, and that is a good thing because <laughs> we need to use these spawners. These two and the one down here are going to be used for today's amazing project, and that is to make the spider jockey killing chamber 9,000. Yeah, <laughs> because we got spiders and we got the jockeys. So we're gonna use all three of these spawners in one pretty decently sized room, and then we'll go from there. All right, everybody, I completely finished with the rooms of these spawner houses. Check this right here, got the spawner here, and here is the room. <laughs> we got this room right here, and this room right here. The two spider spawners are complete and they're all gonna funnel into the same area. Kinda, yeah, they're all gonna funnel into the same area. It's gonna be a little tricky, but I think I got it. So these two are going in and then they're gonna be turned into string and spider eyes. String and, string and spider eyes, as well as cave spider heads. Those are pretty cool too. Apparently they're pretty common, so I might get a crap ton of them. So I might have to make my own chest for cave spider heads. But we've got a bunch of room cleared out for this. And it's still all lit up. I haven't seen a single mob since. And let's get started with this. So we need water here, water here, and water here. And I actually need to get water buckets. I didn't bring any water buckets. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, we got our water buckets in place right here. The beautiful water sources. And these water sources over here. Now I just got to put it on this side. And it, there water bucket here and uh, put torches down because that happened last time spiders spawned immediately and that scared the crap out of me so grab a bucket and then grab another bucket and we should be good on this side so everything all the water is practically in place i just need to add oh hello you shouldn't be here there so Okay, next part, I think we add this little water bucket here and then add a little collection system for the spiders. And I'm poisoned. Oh, never mind. Anyway, we need a collection system for the spider heads, the string, and of course the spider eyes, which are going to be pretty important. 
as I'm slowly drifting into the center of the area. And it's done. I got the rooms pretty much finished, got all the waterways connected. I got this room actually connected to this one, so they're both in the same water streams. It was a bit difficult to get like the water to go where I wanted it to go because water physics are annoying, but I eventually got it to work, so every angle, every area of this thing connects and goes into the same zone. And in here as well, if it hits this corner, it kind of also goes that way. It, it all connects, so that's good. And all of them are pretty much connected. I want to add a little glass looking thing. Oh, no, bad idea. <laughs> I wanted to, I'm going to add a little glass area right here. So you can see maybe a glass area here too. That's, that's nothing. That's just a torch. But I want to add some glass areas and it might look pretty cool. And then we get to expand over to the skeleton area that'll be down there somewhere because I'm pretty sure the skeleton farm is just out of reach from the spider farms. So this one might not activate if we're over there, but this one might. So it's kind of annoying, but it, we'll have to deal with it. Actually, first thing I need to do before that though is grab a bunch of signs because we need to put a lot of signs down so that if the spiders crawl up the sides, we'll be able to kill them even then. So we're gonna have to get a bunch of signs for that too. And of course, there's pillagers when I come up to the surface. Why not? Come here, mister. Come here, pillagers. Dang it. You're no match for me, pillagers. You do nothing. You do no damage. No damage at all. Let me pick up this banner. Absolutely no damage. What? How did a husk get here? Hello, good sir. Where where did you journey from? Hello? How much leather were you holding? He, he was holding two leather on him. Okay, that's odd. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't expecting that. And a creeper just spawned in the distance. Okay. So anyway, we need to get a bunch of signs for this. And I'm trying to figure out a good spot. If I have any wood for this, it would be great, because I don't know if I even have any wood for signs. All right, the water end signs are now in place. We can officially test if this is working. So I guess the scary part, let's take out the torches and let's see if this works. Oh no, how did they get through? Oh, no, never mind. All right, let's give this a test and see if this works. Oh no, they get through, they get through, they get through. I see. All right, I think I understand what's wrong. So the problem is the spiders are getting through that half slab gap, so I need to get rid of that half slab gap by putting this in. Uh-oh. By putting these in so that they, yep, see that? Now they can't get in. Ah! This is gonna be a pain. <gasps> oh! oh my god! Get me out of there! Oh my goodness. Go to bed, go to bed, go to- I can't go to bed, I'm, I'm poisoned! Oh wait, how are they- <laughs> How are they here? They're following me everywhere! No! 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 You are not allowed to be here, okay? Nuh-uh, no spiders allowed. So all the spiders at least are getting to me. That's a good thing. That's the best thing is that they're all getting to me. The only problem is they're all getting to me when I'm trying to do things, so there's no stopping them. There's a lot of XP in this. All right, all right, how would I be able to fix this problem? Oh, there's still a guy there, okay. So. The spiders are getting stuck on the slabs there, so they won't move. None of this is working. It kind of makes me angry. So none of the none of this is working for some reason. I'm, I'm I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong, but nothing's working. Now, is this too far away, or is it in reach? I think it might be in reach, but who knows? see if I'm standing right here and if it's in reach the skeleton could probably be funneled into this same chute so that 
could also work which i think it would be a good idea to actually start making this farm who knows maybe if i go down there there'll be like 50 skeletons and that would be great but there is no skeletons which means that probably none spawned so that's not good so that means it's probably too far away let's just give it extra like an extra test see if that works it's too far away this way so yeah it's definitely too far away but maybe this block right here could spawn them in who knows i'd like to know if that could work however i did find a good place that will spawn skeletons and spiders at the same time in this area right here <laughs> this area has the potential to be able to spawn all three spawners in the same spot because right now uh, this is 366. Right this way is that uh, first spider spawner. The second spider spawner is like right about there. And then the skeleton spawner is right around there. So we're actually quite close to all of that. So it should be able to spawn all three at the same time. Which means we could put them all into the same farm. And then I'll be able to actually AFK at all three. Which is really cool. I have lit up the entirety of all the caves. Every single cave is pretty much lit up now. And... It's all thanks to replay mod. I was able to see all of the um, the caves that I didn't have lit up. So thanks to that, I was able to figure out where to go and what to light up. So now, now I'm 100% sure that every single cave is officially lit up in the area. So now we will have spawning at its maximum capacity. We'll be able to spawn as much as we want. And we need to get rid of this. All right, so I've come up with a new idea and it revolves around just pushing the spiders around so that they can get into the perfect position because I want them to be down here because I need to load the skeleton spawner as well and to do that I'm gonna have to be down here because this is the perfect spot to load all three. I made a little area that has a water stream hooking up right into this area that the spiders won't be able to hit me in and will also be picked up by these hoppers right below. And to get that, I just simply put a water stream that went down and into that zone. And now all we have to do to test it, I guess, take out the torches for hopefully the last time and see if it works. I think it worked. Am I getting any of the drops in? I, I am. I am getting the drops. Get rid of this. All right. I think the main problem is the fact that the spiders are getting caught on the ledges so i need to get rid of that and have them die if that happens get rid of all this so this works i guess i guess you could say that works all i need to do is add this ledge right here because all of the spiders are coming up to here and and just sitting up there so that's a problem that we need to fix all right now they should just die if they get up there so how are we looking down here? I haven't really checked. Oh, wow, okay, that's actually really good. So this actually is really working well. So I installed the little water system. All the spiders do seem to eventually make their way over here. I don't know if they're getting stuck on something on the way that I can't see, but it seems like it's working quite well. <laughs> there is a lot of spiders. So I feel like this is working quite well. And this is only one spawner. We haven't even turned on the second spawner. And look at that. It's already about to back up too. So I think this is working quite well. And I'm kind of happy for this. Uh, I'm just going to go into fabric to see if I can see anything happening while this is going on. How are you? How are you? Okay. So here I am in my, in, um, in my little spectator zone. Let me see what's wrong. So all those spiders make it up to here, and it seems the majority of them actually get stuck here and here. So that's not good. I can easily get rid of a block or these two blocks here so that they can just fall down and not have to climb. But it seems that the majority of them do get stuck there, which isn't that good. However, they do make their way into this zone right here, which is the killing area. So I'm gonna have to go and fix that. Also, if you can see, this entire area is all lit up now which is good because now no mobs can really spawn except the spiders and skeletons. So that's really it. 
Uh, everyone's practically stuck in this corner here, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But right now, actually, let's build the actual sorting system, or the actual collection system for this entire thing. I'm thinking we have string, string, string. Or, because this is also gonna be for skeletons, too. For skeletons could be easier, because you could just put these, like, chests here. That could just be for, um, the unstackable stuff. Like, bows and armor and stuff like that. You could put that here. Now, I could have string, string, eyes, bones, bones, arrows, and then heads for the spiders right there. That could work, too. I think that might be a good idea. I'll do that. So, we're going to have string, string, eyes, string, string, spider eyes, spider heads, arrows, bones, bones, and then all the unstackable items from skeletons. That'll go right here. Also, the skeleton the skeleton killing thing will be right here, and I'm thinking of dropping them from fall damage so that I don't have to actually do much work with that because skeletons take more hits than just cave spiders. Cave spiders are weak, but skeletons, I want to just have it so I can hit them once and they're already dead. So that'll be much easier to do because I can just drop them from fall damage and they won't stick to the side of the walls because uh, that would happen, definitely. <laughs> That happens with spiders, and spiders are annoying for just doing that. Because it is really difficult to make a farm when all they do is stick to the side of the walls. Say hello to Torchcat. Hi, Torchcat. You are now the guardian of this place. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm just trying to... I just found a cat, and now he's Torchcat. Now he guards this place with his life. Okay, Torchcat, you have fun. I'm gonna go finish the storage system. Got all the chests in place, and of course the sorting system as well. And <laughs> It kind of went into this area a bit, kind of invaded, but it, it's working. We got bones, bones, arrows, spider heads, spider eyes, string, and string. And that is all in their respective chests. And they, look at that, already two and a half. And um, they are all in their respective chests. But I haven't even started the skelly farm yet. And the uh, spiders are all finished pretty much. So, all I have to do really now is just hook up the spider farm, like, inputs into the sorting system. And that's all. Alright, I have now set up the system to dispense the items in. I have 12 string right here. And if I put this string into this hopper right here, it should go right here. Perfect. All 12 string right into this hopper. And if I put... The spider eyes in it should go into the spider eye hopper and so on and so forth so let's go make the skeleton grinder and then we can find then we can finally call this project practically finished well except maybe the interior i don't know should i do the interior or not you leave it up I leave i'm gonna leave it up to the comments today so let me know should i do the interior or should i just keep it plain diorite mess that it is Whatever, whatever this is. Should I keep it like this, or should I make some cool little decorations to it? You let me know. Alright, the skeleton farm has just been finished. As you can see, these skeletons are chilling there. Can't really hit me. I mean, if they could try and hit me. They don't. It doesn't really work well. But anyway, we got all of them in, and it is working amazingly. Actually, really, really well. <laughs> they are coming in. They are dropping like flies. Uh, I might need to add a little bit of protection to myself because I might get hit from time to time, but that's eh, that's fine. I shouldn't be able to. I shouldn't be able to just die. Is these guys drop 22 blocks from the sky, which means that they are at half a heart. So if if, if one comes in anytime soon, there we go. I can just punch him, and he's dead. Now that wouldn't be any fun because I want to use my my looting three beautiful sword here. So currently while this is going to active, I'm guessing I'm going to have to go, hey, if I put carpet there, will they not actually be able to shoot me? That is what I wonder. And I want to add a little uh, collection system now. So I'm going to connect this all the way up to the other hopper that I had, and maybe that would actually work pretty well. Also, I get the XP from it too, so there's no loss for XP. And everything drops onto these, so I'm going to actually create this platform and get this working. 
All right, I also added a little block swapper too. Just if I want to AFK here, I can hit this button and they will immediately die. Let me actually get rid of that. And you can see that they die. Just like that. And then all the other stuff will be put into the hopper minecart that I'm gonna have below and brought up into the system. All right, everybody, finally completed with the storage system. You can hear the skeletons are dying and you can kind of hear the ticking in the background of the droppers spitting out. We have got already just from testing this a lot of stuff. And I also hooked up this so we can also get good stuff. <laughs> Whoa, like, like that. That's pretty good. But you, you can see now that we've got everything pretty much hooked up. Some things get put in here because it's extra. Like, since there's only one hopper that's actually filtering all the items in, eventually arrows will get stuck. The fact that there's a hopper minecart going back and forth, if you can kind of see it down there. There it is. You can see a hopper minecart going back and forth dispensing items since I didn't have enough hoppers. So now the final test hopefully it should be the absolute positive final test for this entire farm disregarding this will be all three of these farms active at the same time and see if it works this is kind of nerve-wracking for me because i'm i hate bringing out these torches but i guess let's just do it Oh, already got poisoned. Already got poisoned. And look at all of these spiders. That's a lot of spiders. It is actually lagging my game how many spiders are. Why are there so many spiders? But never mind that. Let's check the rates. Nice, look at, oh my, the spider eyes are probably one of the biggest things for this. We also got, eh, not many heads, but we've got the cave spider heads going in. Hello. I did pick up a lot of cave spider heads over the course of this area. Like, look, three cave spider heads just by hitting this one. Goodbye. And um, we got also lots of bones just from AF Kang here. Not too bad, not too bad. What about this chest? This chest isn't bad either. And then... <laughs> A lot of arrows, so <laughs> that's also crazy. What about the junk chest? Oof, that's a lot of random stuff. That shouldn't be there. That's crazy. But all of this stuff is all the junk stuff that we don't need. And spider eyes keep making it through. I wonder why. Probably because there's like a thousand spiders getting killed right now. But other than that, I think that is the perfect place to end this. Seeing as this is an absolute success and it's it's just insane there's so many spiders that went through here and i can't wait to see the time lapse because i haven't actually made it yet i only recorded it but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like the video and subscribe if you are new and also l let me know should i should i upgrade this room make it like nice and decorated or should i just keep it as this bare ugly piece of crap let me know let me know but anyway let me know down in the comments if you want me to decorate this place up make it all look amazing and i We'll see you in the next episode of Relaxing Crap Season 2. Peace out, guys.